Crooner Eddie Fisher, whose fame as a pop singer was overshadowed only by scandals ending his marriages to Debbie Reynolds and Elizabeth Taylor, has died. Fisher passed away Wednesday night at his home in Berkeley, California, of complications from hip surgery. Fisher had a huge following of fans in the 50s. He sold millions of records with 32 hit songs. In 1955, Fisher married movie star Debbie Reynolds. They were touted as America's favorite couple and eventually had two children. One daughter, Carrie Fisher, became a film star and played Princess Leah in the first three Star Wars films. Eventually, the two divorced, and Eddie Fisher married Elizabeth Taylor in 1959. That marriage lasted only five years. Taylor fell in love with co-star Richard Burton while filming a movie. She divorced Fisher and married Burton in one of the largest entertainment world scandals in the 20th century. Following that divorce, Fisher turned to drugs to get through performances. He would later say that he made and spent $20 million during his heyday. In the 80s, he tried to come back. That eventually failed. He would be married three more times, eventually having four children with his five wives. Eddie Fisher was 82. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.